Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. In today's video, I will be doing N.K. Jemisin's masterclass on fantasy and science fiction. I am super, super excited to be doing this class because I would just love a little bit more information from a published author on the genre. I love this speculative realm. I'm currently working on a science fiction book. I'm working on draft two. My previous rough draft was a adult fantasy. And just in general, all my story ideas belong in this genre. I just love everything speculative. It speaks to me, speaks to my personality. I think it really also defines who I am. So really excited to take this to learn a little bit more about how I can improve as a writer in this genre but mostly I'm also really looking forward to what N.K. Jemisin has to say about being a marginalized woman in this industry and especially in science fiction and fantasy because as we know it this genre is predominantly dominated by uh, older white men. She mentioned this in the trailer and I honestly almost teared up because the way she spoke about it really touched me she was saying that if you are writing and you are you know a visual minority you can change the industry just by being and the way she said that i felt a lot of pride in who i am and why i want to write in the genre it was just very encouraging and i can't wait to hear more about what she has to say so i think this class is like four and a half hours long i am going to break this day up into two so i'm gonna do one for two hours and then i'm gonna take a break and then do laundry and eat lunch and then come back and do the rest of the two hours i also want to say that i haven't read any of her books yet but i know i will want to after taking her class i did order the fifth season okay i have my space kitty notebook and i have my coffee that i almost finished drinking i'll see you guys for the video Yes, you're going to doubt yourself. Yes, you're going to be afraid. Yes, you're going to struggle. Yes, it's hard, but it's worth it in the end. For the 2018 Hugo Award for Best Novel, N.K. Jemisin. The stars came closer for all of us. The stars are ours. Thank you. Okay, I am 30 minutes into the class. I am learning so much. And I feel like I didn't talk more about N.K. Jemisin as an author in the beginning of the video and the intro but she won i think two or three hugo awards and then they filmed her like accepting her award and i actually did start tearing up i was gonna like film it but i was like eh. i just felt so happy for her she just seems like such a lovely woman and she knows so much just from the 30 minutes we talked about it i took some notes here and what i really wanted to say is Dune, she talked about Dune, which I was like, yes, Dune is such an iconic book that takes an element of the planet and turns it into the driving force of the plot. And I don't know if you guys watched my Dune review, book review, um, but Dune is one of the best science fiction books I've ever read. She talks about how Arrakis is a planet like a desert planet so there's that problem of how do you live in a desert planet where do you get water from and then she talks about the sandworms and how the whole universe uses their poop um as substance as drugs this was part of her macro world building like literally building the planet literally like the physiological stuff of it she also talked about how wind and air currents really affect your um the location of your planet as well so i actually haven't really thought about that it's going pretty good i'm really enjoying it um control over space who's got the ability to spread out and take over i believe that the true value of those kinds of experiences is their ephemerality um is the fact that you've you know you've you've never done anything like it before 
you probably won't do anything like it again. You're there in the moment. The photos aren't going to, to help it carry along with you. The experience itself will. I will never forget what that volcano smelled like. Hey guys, it is 12.30 and I completed pretty much all the sections on world building. So it seems like from her syllabus, I don't remember how many classes, but a portion of it was on world building and now this portion is on characters and there is like a little bit of publishing industry how to find an agent so i'm gonna stop here to get some lunch do some laundry oh my god and maybe make banana bread but i don't know if i'll have time for that so i am loving the class so far it goes by so fast like i can't believe it's 12 30. i just i don't even know how many i did but the world building stuff was so good i love world building that's my favorite part about science fiction and fantasy actually and it's also a little bit unfortunate that setting is also kind of the least important when it comes to characters and story or plot but i just love world building anyway and hearing her talk about world building got me like really motivated or inspired to just keep writing and just to keep writing stories and sounds super cliche but like she's she talked a lot about traveling and to be open to the world see your neighbor in a lens of a stranger and see what you can capture and i feel like i i love traveling because of that and i feel like science fiction and fantasy is such the perfect genre for me because i love traveling like i'm so open to new experiences i love taking things in and she says something really interesting about um as an artist your job is to speak the truth is to experience everything and render it through your work and i love the way she eloquently said that i feel like she speaks really really well and i wish i could speak better because i talk like i don't know words how am i a writer anyway anyway uh my favorite class so far is the inventing science and magic she talks about how I think in her opinion, magic and science are kind of similar and it's hard to distinguish really the two of them. And she talks about this law, which I didn't know this law actually existed, but I kind of play with that as well. Clark's third law, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. She was saying how the inverse of this or is it the converse is also true. Any sufficiently advanced magic is indistinguishable from technology. My favorite thing of what she said, okay, so while I was taking these classes, I was thinking to myself, because she talks a lot about like research um, and how to come up with these like scientific elements. But then I was thinking to myself, you know, how, like what's, like what if something is just not realistic? What if something is just actually scientifically false? And she actually did a section of her class on that called Science and Plausibility. She was saying, and I thought this was the best story she shared so far, but she was saying how she really likes volcanoes and lavas and rocks and things like that. So she did a lot of research on this beforehand. She talked to experts, but then she realized that or not she realized but she also wanted to travel to feel this kind of like experience so she went to hawaii and she was saying that she was able to touch the ash smell the sulfur even though sulfur is poisonous get the size right as much as you can but if you can't use your imagination use what you do as a writer just create things and make sure that you hit all five senses so that this thing is like actually believable so I really like that. That was probably my favorite thing that she said. I'm gonna take a break, as I said, gonna get some lunch. I'm gonna grab some matcha latte from the cafe. And I don't know how many hours we have left. There are 16 lessons in total. And I have one, two, eight, nine more classes to go. So we're not even halfway yet. We're gonna be really quick about this and come back because I do, again, have to leave around 2.30. How are you guys enjoying this video? I hope you're liking it. I wore my space t-shirt for this. Okay, I will see you guys soon. Lunchtime, this is leftovers. These are leftovers from last night. My BF and I made it together. Garlic mashed potatoes, pan fried salmon, um, just seasoned with salt and pepper, and a garden salad. I put in a lot of red onions because I love red onions. Yay. It's so nice outside. I'm smiling!
Ah. Should I just end the class early so I can go out? I still feel like I suspect I, lo I lost some readers. Um, I probably did lose some readers with that because I hate the show don't tell. Um, hey guys, it's almost three o'clock actually, so I'm gonna have to get going. I didn't finish it. I only have four lessons left, but we completed all the character ones. So all we have left now are like the publishing um, related side, like the business side after you write a book. So I think I'll do that tomorrow night. I'm really loving the classes, like the lessons. I wanna take more. I have a two week guest pass. So thank you, Sadia, for sending me the guest link. These are so much better than the writing craft books. Like the writing craft books kind of make me feel I don't know. These are just much better because I guess they're more interactive. You get to really know the author. Oh my god, I love her, like N.K. Jemison, Nora. She seems like such a lovely lady. She's making really funny jokes. I'm like laughing throughout the whole thing. I'll see you guys on another day. Hey guys, it's the next day, so we're gonna finish up the lessons right now. We have four more to go, and again, these are all around the industry. There is one lesson on how to find a literary agent, and I'm pretty aware of the process since I do so much research on that even though I'm not even querying yet but anyway I'm really excited to hear what she has to say mostly I'm looking forward to what she has to say about being a marginalized author in the industry like I mentioned yesterday so I think I'll get the most insights from that and I just had a long day but I'm ready to do more learning and Look what came in the mail. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. I am so, so excited to read this. I think I'm gonna have to skip everything and put this on the queue. This is used, but it actually looks really good. I love buying used books. I'm planning on doing a used books haul. That's a separate topic completely. Anyway, let's get into this video. Looking at something with your name on it that you wrote, that you put out into the world and it looks great, that's a wonderful feeling, and that in and of itself is a great reason to publish. If you don't 100% commit to the idea of trying to get published, it doesn't make sense to try it. Um, it's a waste of your time, it's a big waste of money, um, and it's a heartbreaker um, that's kind of waiting to happen. Another reason that you want to go ahead and start working on another book is because it'll take your mind off of the stress of waiting possibly three years for your book to come out. Oh my god. I literally just finished and I was like, wait, it's done? Oh man, that was really good. I have to read her book now. Okay, um, whoa. I feel like I wanted a better conclusion. It kind of just ended. <laughs> um, okay what should i say so the industry stuff was pretty interesting i mean i did learn a few new things i was just gonna say i didn't learn anything but that's false i'm always learning new things so uh there were some resources that uh she talked about including oh oops i'm actually playing it again including locust magazine so apparently this has all like the upcoming science fiction and fantasy news um i should take a look maybe that's wrong but from what she was talking about locusts it seems like a science fiction industry kind of thing should i put you somewhere else hold on hold on we're just gonna work with this because i have no place to put you so there's also sfwa.org i think it's science fiction something association or maybe i'm completely wrong but i'm gonna check that out too i haven't had a chance to like even look it up i just grab my phone and start talking right after the class end class ended I, I don't know guys like traditional publishing like scares me so much and the thing is i feel like there's so much more to just writing your book but i don't really want to worry about that because i'm really far from it like i'm really far from it i just all i want to do is finish my book that's all i want so that's it <laughs> for this video i was so stuffy yesterday I think I have a nasal infection, nasal infection, sinus infection. Um, I still need to call a doctor about that actually, but I'm really glad I did this class. It was really good. I loved it so much. I wanna take more master classes. I think I'll take Neil Gaiman's next week. I think what I'm looking for next is probably like how to write a story um, and talk more about plot. 
Um, I didn't say this before I started filming, but I think I'm pretty okay with world building and character. Those two are my favorites. Like world building is first my favorite thing to figure out and then characters actually sometimes the opposite anyway plot is always last for me that's what i'm trying to say and she didn't talk about plot at all actually in these lessons just everything about science fiction so i would recommend this course or this class <laughs> if you just want to know more about science fiction and fantasy i think she does a really really good job at explaining what this genre is and kind of like traditional tropes she also recommended not recommend but she also talked about a few books how did you guys find the format of this video i was pretty much experimenting i know other youtubers have made this but i haven't watched their content because they didn't want to copy what they were doing um so i kind of just made it my own so yeah let me know what you guys think of the video if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed please do so below i post videos every saturday thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye